In Action Network, you can use tags to attach characteristics to your activists. These tags can then be used to segment your list along the lines of which actions they've taken, what interests they have, which issues they're passionate about, and what role they play in your organization, and more. To get started creating tags, go to the Start Organizing menu and click Tags. Then, you'll select which list you're working on. You'll notice that you can only choose groups, not your own individual account. Select the group that you want to add the tags to, and you'll be brought to the Tags page. Here, you'll see any tags that you've created before. To create a new tag, we'll click the blue Add New Tag button. Then, all you do is type in the name of the tag. We'll make this a tag for reporters. Then just click the blue Create Tag button. Now you'll see our reporters tag is here. You can use the Delete button to delete any tag that you've mistakenly created or that is no longer useful. But remember, when you delete a tag, it will delete the tag on any activist it was previously assigned. If your group is part of a network, you'll see a blue button next to each of the tags that says Send to Children. This allows you to send any tags to subgroups in your network. Then, this will show up in their tags list the next time they access this page. They'll also be able to assign that tag to activists. The data will then flow up to the parent group, so that anyone who took an action associated with a certain tag will also have that tag in the parent group database. Once you've created a tag, you can apply it to activists in your system. There are five ways to attach tags to your activists by adding a tag to an action, by adding a tag to a list you upload, by adding a tag to an individual account record, by adding it to a ladder, or adding it to a question. First, let's go over adding tags to actions. Anytime you create an action, whether it's a petition, form, letter campaign, or fundraiser, you'll have an action manage page. Let's take a look at one of those. We'll go to the My Dashboard, and click the group I want to manage. When we go to my Actions tab and click to Manage, you'll see this Edit Tags button. When I click, I'll be prompted to select any tag that I previously created. Now I can add a tag to the swarm and hit Save. Now, anytime someone fills out this form, they'll have the reporter's tag attached to their account. The second option for adding tags is when you're uploading a list. Let's go to the Uploads page to take a look. As a reminder, Uploads are a partner feature and not available with Action Network free. For more information on becoming a partner, please visit actionnetwork.org slash partnerships. If you are a partner and wish to add tags to your upload, select the list that you want your activist to live on. Click the blue button to add a new upload. And here you'll see click to select tags. Select the tags that you want from your drop down menu. And now when you do your upload, all these tags will be attached to every person on that list. To learn more about uploading a list, please visit the Uploads video tutorial at help.actionnetwork.org. The third way to add tags is through our Search and Add Activist feature. Go to the Start Organizing menu and click Activist. When you select your list, you can then search for an activist and then edit or add tags to their record. This is covered in depth in our activist video tutorial, so I won't cover it here. If you have more questions about that and would like to see how it's done, please visit help.actionnetwork.org. In Ladders, you can add or remove tags to an activist as part of a step. This is covered in detail in our Ladders video tutorial and help documents, so I won't go through it here. You can also add tags to questions, whether using the form builder in each action or by creating a pre-built question. If you have more questions about tags or any of our other features, please visit help.actionnetwork.org.